Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully address if you're coming across a problem where you can't find a shared network computer, drive, file, or even folder on your Windows 10 computer. So this could certainly be a frustrating issue, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Just go ahead and left click on the Start button one time. Type in services into start menu search. Best match should come back with services. Go ahead and left click on that option one time. So the first service you want to locate is the function discovery provider host. So just scroll down to the F section here. So function discovery provider host. You want to go ahead and double click on that. Service status, you want to click inside this drop down menu here. Select automatic and then select apply and OK. You also want to select start the service over here on the left panel. Now that you've done that, now you want to look for another service here that says Function Discovery Resource Publication right underneath of it. Go ahead and double click on that. Now you want to go ahead and select Automatic in the drop down menu for this service as well. And then select Apply and OK like we did with the previous service. And once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and now look for our additional service here called the UPNP Device Host. So we're going to scroll down to the U section here. Go ahead and double click on that. Startup type, click inside the drop down menu. Select automatic and then select apply and OK. You want to start the service. And in case I might have forgotten, we want to go back up to the F section. We want to make sure the second service that we set to automatic is started so I'm going to select the function discovery resource publication I'm going to start the service again selecting the start option on the left panel here so I just have to go back to that but if you're watching this video before actually doing anything you don't have to go back to it just do it at the same time after you're done selecting apply and OK you want to start the service so that was three services we've currently turned on now you want to locate the SSDP discovery protocol or just SSDP Discovery, depending on what version of Windows you're running. You want to go ahead and double click on that. Now once again you want to select Automatic. Now once again you want to select Automatic. Select Apply and OK. And make sure Service Status is running for that as well. So close out of here. Now you want to open up the Star menu. Type in Control Panel. Best match to come back with Control Panel. Go ahead and left click on that one time. Now you want to locate the Network and Sharing Center, so see your view by the large icons, and then select Network and Sharing Center from this list. Select the Advanced Sharing Settings or Change Advanced Sharing Settings on the left side here. Now you want to expand the option underneath where it says Private, so click the little drop down arrow under that. You want to make sure Turn On Network Discovery is selected as well as Turn On Automatic Setup of Network Connected Devices is checkmarked right underneath of it. And underneath File and Printer Sharing, you want to select Turn On File and Printer Sharing here. So once you've done that, you want to now expand the Guest or Public section. And you want to turn on Network Discovery for the first option as well as the File and Printer Sharing option. And you want to do the same thing for the All Network option. So turn on sharing so anyone with network access can read and write files to the public folders. And then you also want to go ahead and select, it should already be default here, use 128-bit encryption to help protect file sharing connections, which is recommended. So that's fine, keep that the same way. And you want to scroll down further, so turning password protection sharing. So please keep in mind the wording of this is kind of poor in my opinion. So 
if you read it when password protected sharing is on only people who have a user account and password on this computer can access shared files printers attached to this computer and the public folders so if you have this enabled you will not be able to share printers attached to this computer so you actually have to turn this off so kind of unfortunate it's worded this way and lumping all these different options in here but if you have password protected sharing on you won't actually be able to share your printer to other computers that's just the way that Microsoft has chosen to word this and program it here so we're going to go ahead and select save changes once we're done close out of here restart your computer and that should hopefully be about it and once you're done restarting your computer if you have to add the printer back into your installed printer list feel free to do that but hopefully this tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and i do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial